back in the shop on limited time today. Ooh, I don't have a full day to be here. Well, anyways, I'm going to get on that 440, finish honing it, get it out, put it in the washer, get the 350 in there, bore it, hopefully hone it, and then the other 440, I'm gonna get it ready to go down to the other shop because they want it line honed. So, I, again, Everything I seem to be doing here recently is either turning a crank or line honing something. The two machines I don't have. Anyways, I'm going to go get all that done and hopefully give you an update here in just a little bit. Whoosh. The 440 is done honing. It needs to come out the machine and go in the washer. I'm gonna let it cool down for just a minute. I'm gonna take a little sandpaper around the edges to get it not such a hard edge on the deck into the cylinder wall so it's easier for the rings to go in when you're putting the pistons in. But other than that, it just needs to go in the washer and be washed, pulled out, and it's ready to have the cam bearings and plugs put back in it and put on the engine stand. But let's see here. The next thing on the plate is the 350 getting put in there. I'll start boring it. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to grab that other 440 and get it over here and start, you know, getting it ready to go to that other machine shop. At this moment, that's all I got going on. So I will talk to you in just a little bit. Whoosh. I think I'm going to change what I'm saying. Like instead of being like, hey, I'll talk to you later. Then whoosh. I mean, I'm still going to. Whoosh. <laughs> but I think I'm going to start saying now back to the time lapse. Whoosh. But once it's done, and I let them cool off and then I check the measurements one more time before I put out the machine. This is the exact reason why. I took the cylinder, each, every cylinder in here, I took 5 tenths over 30 over, under. 30 over, 30 over. <laughs> oh lordy, I still learn to speak English tomorrow. Anyways, put this down in here. We'll mic it. So we were 5 tenths. This thing, when cooling off, is now 5 tenths tight. I don't want it 5 tenths tight. I want it to be zero or a little bit over zero, like within two tenths. So sure, that's why you check it before you put out the machine. So you have to put it back in the machine because that's too tight. Anyways, I'm going to check all the rest of them, make sure everything is good. And if it's just that one, I'll just hit that one. If not, I'll hit them all. Get them all right. Got to have them all right. All right. Let's try this again. So back to the time lapse. Whoosh. Now we got that little issue fixed. Not really an issue, just, you know, the expansion of metal happens. So that's why when it's honing whatever and it builds up heat in the cylinder wash, you always want to let it cool down and measure it again. Because that's how the clearance you're going to have. Like if you leave your car not running overnight and come out the next day, that's where your actual clearance is at. Like that's how tight your cylinder is going to be on that piston when you go to crank it in the morning. And if it doesn't have the proper clearance, that's going to cause catastrophic problems. Catastrophic problems. <laughs> That's all, folks. Anyways. <laughs> A little bit of stuttering up there with the words. But yes, you go to crank your car. It's too tight. And that's why you're going to have an engine that fails on you. So, I always make sure I don't do that. <laughs> that's not good. I don't like doing things twice, as I said before. Anyways, back to the timeline. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next, because why I'm going to, it's got a lot of the honing oil back into it now. So I'm going to let it sit on its sides and get all my expensive honing oil back out that block where I had to touch it up. And then I'll pull it out, put it in the washer, get the 350 in there, start boring it. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and grab those LT1 heads, go ahead and disassemble them. So when I put the 440 in the washer, I can put the LT heads in there at the same time. All right, back to that time lapse of the heads. Yes. <laughs> Ch 
Jeez, man. <laughs> my hands all dirty. But just got that uh, LT1 heads disassembled to go in the washer with that 440. I've let that sit long enough. I, I believe enough of the honing oils back out of it. So I'm ready to get it out the machine, put it in the washer, and all that good nonsense. However, the valve stem seals on those LT1 heads may be the most difficult valve stem seals I have ever tried to remove in my entire life. Like, my wrist physically hurts from trying to get them off. They were on there so ridiculous. I, I don't even, it's like they, I don't know what they put on them. They put something on them to make sure they didn't come off, and that was ridiculous. The spark plugs had something on them too. Like, they were hard to get, like the spark plugs and the valve stem seals. I've had harder spark plugs to get out before, but they definitely put something there. Like you can see a powder something or another where it broke up after I got the torque broke off of that one. I don't know what that was all about. <sighs> but the valve stem seals, they were absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I've, they, you should, on off. That, that's all it should be with one of those. But I'm sitting over there like fighting that crap out of it for some reason. It just wouldn't give it to me. <laughs> Anyways, got it off. <laughs> it's good to go. I'm going to get that going so I can get that 350 in there and I'll back to the time lapse with that. Whoosh. update as i told you earlier the 440 got done i put it in the washer got it clean got it out i got it ready to, on over here to be mounted on an engine stand i started looking for an engine stand and i realized i've got so many motors completed and sitting on engine stands and i don't i got so i just got so many motors in the shop it's ridiculous i got one two three four motors five motors sitting right there ready to be disassembled that are taking up anything i could put a motor on and then i have one, two, three, four completed motors up front on engine stands. So yeah, I'm running out of engine stands, guys. I'm gonna need some people to come pick up their motors, pay me so I can have engine stands free. And so I can also have, get these, I don't know, I got so much to do. <laughs> it's out of control at the moment. But anyways, like I said, I got the 440 ready to put on an engine stand. I just gotta find one. I found one, I have one more engine stand, yeah. Yep, one more. I don't see any more. I think I might have two more. But I only have one more thing that I can mount it to it. Hmm. So, we will see. We will see what we do here. I'm end up having to take some of those completed motors and then take them apart and put them in the floor, I guess. I don't know what else to do with them because they won't come and get them. Um, so, like I said, 440, ready to go on stand. Uh, 350 is bored. I did not get a chance to finish honing it. Uh, I ran out of time today. I got the other 440, like, prepped ready to go to the other machine shop i just got to get it in the i forgot to turn the washer on for the other 440 earlier so it sat in the washer not on for some time and then about 420 425 somewhere in that range i was like ah oh, didn't never turn that on so i cut that on got hit washed and so the other 440 didn't get washed so i'll watch that in the morning get that over to the other machine shop that i have to sub the line board out to and then that'll be rolling I got the LT1 heads completely washed and broke down. They're sitting back there. I just got through drying them off. So they're ready to be blasted and cleaned. And then I can start machining them, getting them ready for whenever I get that block back from the other place that I'm having in line board. <sighs> Rarely do I ever really need the line board something. It's odd that in the same week I need two blocks line board. Technically, I'm going on a week and a half on that 3LT1 being not in my shop. I dropped it off last Monday afternoon, but for this Monday. So, getting a little impatient on that one. 
but I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I just I really want it back because I need to build it because that ticket actually went on my billing cycle for this month so it's coming up due very soon so i'd like to be paid on that one so i can pay the warehouse but anyways that's enough of that i'm done for today i'm heading home i will check you guys later Whoosh. another vlog has come to an end which means it's time to smash this like button right here click on the share button over here share this vlog with anybody you think might find it interesting comment down below let me know what you thought about the vlog if you haven't yet make sure you subscribe to my channel ring the bell that way there you'll get the notifications and we will talk with you later Whoosh.